some assholes who thought it'd be wise to steal from us. Alright, take off the bags. Hey, hey, how you doing? You guys stole from the wrong people, but I think you already know that you fucked up. See, we split up into smaller groups. No reason for us to have all of our ducks in a row. Then, when dumb fucks like you try to steal our shit, we can find you easier. <laughs> Man, talk about worst case scenario. You guys are by far the most unluckiest fucking individuals I have come across. I mean, you guys managed to pull this stunt on us when a lot of us were around. If it weren't for that group of incompetent pricks we just dealt with, you probably could have stolen some stuff from a smaller group of us. Like I said, don't hate us. Hate the group that made us have to come at them with a couple dozen men. Shit. You should have seen their faces. You guys are in the very fucking similar position right now as a matter of fact. Normally, I would just kill one of you and then have you take us to your camp. I know you don't have anywhere to go and hang your hats though, but hey, I'm a reasonable guy. The name is Tobias Murphy. I am the boss of this little corporation I have here. All these men do whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want. Four of you will be joining us today. We have some job openings currently. You see, the group I mentioned earlier really did a number on us. They killed a lot of my men. So now I'm in need of some more helping hands. Today is interview day. We have ourselves a group interview and some of you will get the job. But one very unlucky sad fuck is not going to get the job. We can't hire everyone. It's not a charity. That's just the rules. Instead of money fueling your desire to be with us, it will be a bed, food, water, and your absolute fucking loot loyalty to yours truly. So, let's get started. I'm going to try something different this time around. Hey, Grandpa. Pick a number between one and five. I have my number in my head. So choose wisely. Go to hell. Really? I am proposing a good offer to you. I'm inviting you into the New World Order with only one small catch. And you say, go to hell? What is your number going to be? Four. Five. Two. One. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Three is the only number left. Looks like everyone else decided for you. Whatever. Alright. This is going good. Now, someone has to be let go. My number is... Four. <laughs> It's sort of ironic who it is. Hey, don't hate me for it, guys. You chose to steal from us. And for that, for that you gotta pay. Stop. Stop. Stop? Bitch, I have just started. He looks terrible. His eye popped out. That only happens so often. Aw, oh, for fuck's sake, lighten up, guys. I'm not doing this for pleasure. Do you really think I enjoy being the fuckity fuck out of people? Okay, maybe I do a little. Hey, but that's not the point. Damn, I need a picture of this. You're alive, Steve? You missed out on that beating we did the other day. Get up there and take a picture right now. Alright, you old sack of shit. Say cheese.
How did everything go, Mason? It's been a week. Things have changed. Tell everyone to meet in the gym in one hour. What happened? We underestimated them. That was the first time he went outside of the walls in so long. He didn't want to leave me alone. I should have been out there with him. If you were with him, you might have died too. Jordan was a good kid. You two influenced each other well. I loved him. And I didn't tell him. Nathan and Daniel are digging graves for them right now. I want you to follow the peacekeepers back to their camp next time they show up. We need to know more about him. Jackson told me he was going to go on a scouting mission in a few days. Good. Let him know that we gave him the go-ahead. Do you mind leaving me for a moment? Of course. I'll see you in the gym. I don't think I thanked you for taking me in. I've been with you guys for a week or so now. I just want you to know I'm grateful for that. It's no problem. You were in that apartment for a couple months. How was that? It was alright. Drake was supposed to come get me, but he never did. His death was quick, right? Yeah. I made it quick for him. He was a brave man. Sacrificed himself to help one of us who was infected. It was too late, though. I only ran into a few dead here and there. You were the first people I met since this all went to shit. I guess that means you haven't killed anyone before. Yeah. You? A couple, yes. It was to protect this group. We are the closest thing to family these days. Another group threatened that. So we did what we had to do. Family's important, Mason. I'm glad you brought me into your family. I promise I'll protect this group no matter what, even if it kills me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Caitlin. I got you killed. I should have listened to the others. I thought, I thought we could handle this. We have before. We had the element of surprise. It's so stupid of me. I got you killed. I'm going to make Tobias pay for this. One day, I will kill him. I promise you that, Caitlin. I promise you that. Thank you all for coming. As you may have heard, we lost two individuals at the hands of these men we attacked. We lost Brooks and saved who we could. But on the way back here, a lot happened. I was so wrong. What we're up against, I just never considered. He attacked us on the road late last night. They killed Jordan and captured Nathan, Chris, and Daniel. Then they ambushed us. Tobias had Caitlin, and, and there was nothing we could do. He had at least 50 men with him. From what it sounded like, he has more than 100 men loyal to his cause. We took out a lot of them. I would say easily a few dozen over the last week alone, but they have the numbers. We can't take them on that this time. We're not prepared to fight these, these peacekeepers. I can't protect anyone from this. I know that is scary and that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. Most of you weren't on the road. You didn't see them. You weren't surrounded by them. You didn't have to watch helplessly as they... You just weren't there. Tobias decided to send a message to us. He had us held at bay 
threatened our lives. He said we had to be punished. Chose one of us at random, just pointed at us until he picked Caitlin. I watched as he took his mace and caved in Caitlin's skull, smashed her head to bits. When he was done, he acted as if he'd done nothing more than play a game. That life he took meant nothing to him. He could have done it to any of us. He could come here and do that to all of us. And that, that terrifies me. We're up against something unlike anything we've faced thus far. Some of you remember Brutus and Lucas. All of you remember Gage. A group large enough to attack two separate places at one time. A group strong enough to intimidate multiple other communities into sharing supplies, one of them in which was twice our size. I thought I could handle these peacekeepers. I was wrong. A conflict with this group could result in the death of all of us. So there will be no conflict. We will give the peacekeepers what they want. We will not fight back in any way and we will live in peace. Understood? We need to get the hell out of here soon. We need a place to stay. Let's see how this place turns out first. I don't want to be here either, but we need food. I'm with Jessica on this one. Vinny, get your ass up here and let us in. It's Vincent, sir. One moment, please. Oh, Vincent. I'm still gonna call you Vinny. Props for the persistence, though, my friend. Alright, kids. Welcome to Sonoya. We have about a 15 block radius within these walls. More than enough room for you fucks. Liam, wash Jessie for me. Treat her well, alright? Treat her like a proper lady. Sure thing, Tobias. Anything for you. Alright. Jessica, right? You know, you make me really hard right now. I was wondering, would you like to be my wife? She's spoken for. Who are you again? I'm tr Actually, I don't give a flying fuck who you are, buddy. I'm talking to the lady. Look, Miss Jessica, if you agree to be my wife, you do not have to work for your rations of course it's completely your decision and as awesome as it would be to fuck the holy shit out of that tight ass of yours i'll let you choose all right i know you think you're the shit around here but she's with me oh oh so you want to play who's got the bigger dick right now <laughs> well i'm game but i warn you though i have a huge fucking dick so why aren't you taking out your little guy, huh? Do you even have some balls down there? What the fuck, man? Don't grab me there. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll bark and no bite. You're lucky I didn't pull out my life of a dick. You would probably even want to suck it for me. I tell you what, Jessica. I'll show you the rest of my wives and where you would be staying if you choose to be with me. Fine. It's a hard offer to pass up. I'm telling you that much. So here's my penthouse. This is my roost. I am the king cock here with all my hens ready to let me fuck them at a moment's notice. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? She knows she fucked up, Tobias. Go easy on her. Have I ever hit any of you? Calm the fuck down. She just made a mistake, okay? You know the transition isn't easy for us. Alicia? Will you please step the fuck aside so I can talk to Amber? Amber, honey? You know you don't have to be scared. Your position here is completely voluntary. I don't want anyone here if they don't want to be. You understand that, right? Uh-huh. So you know that if you want to leave and go back to Brad and be with him, you'll forfeit your privileges 
and go back to whatever job you had before Alicia brought you here to us. But you can. Alright? Of course you can, Amber. But Amber, what can't you do? Cheat on you? Exactly fucking right. You can't fucking cheat on me, Amber. I'm sure you've had plenty of time to think about this. So what's it going to be? You gonna go back to Brad? Back to earning points? Working for your supper? Or are you staying? Staying. I love you, Tobias. Aw, of course you do. You know what has to happen now, right? If you're staying. Yes. Okay, then. We will hold the mark of shame event within one hour. So, Jessica, are you staying? I'll pass. Fine. Get the fuck out of here, then. Eric, prepare the iron. We're all here, Tobias. We're ready to begin. Ain't that grand, Trevor? What you are all about to witness is going to be unpleasant. It doesn't have to happen. Fucking hell. I wish it wouldn't. I wish I could just let this slide, ignore the rules, but I can't. Why? The rules keep us alive. Thanks. That's right. We survive. We provide security for others. We bring peace back to this world. We're the peacekeepers. And we can't do that without rules. There are rules. The rules are what make everything work. No matter how small or insignificant, the rules are to be followed. I know it may seem trivial or even callous on my part. There is no fucking truth to that at all, though. When I choose a new wife, the process is completely voluntary. It's an honor to be with me, to no longer have to earn for goods and services. But it comes with a price. Total devotion. And that can sometimes be a hard pill for others to swallow. But swallow it, they must. Or it's the iron for you. Sorry, Brad. It is what it is. That's... This matter is settled. All is forgiven. Brad will forever bear the shame of his actions on his face. All will know what he's done. I hope that we all have learned something today, because I don't fucking want to do that shit ever again. All done. Now was that so bad? Huh? Passed out? Pussy. Take him away. Brad, I'm so sorry, I- Don't. Someone will see. And they won't hesitate to sell you out. You'll only make things worse. Let him go. Come on, Amber. Trevor, I- Shut up, bitch. Jesse has been cleaned, like you asked. That's my boy. Thank you, Liam. Were you gentle? Yes, sir. Were you kind? Uh, did you treat her like a lady? Um, yes. Did you eat her pussy out like a lady? Well, I, uh, I'm just fucking with you. A mace doesn't have a pussy. Now get the fuck out of here, Luke. It's Liam. God damn it, Luke, what did I say? Get the fuck out of here. Vinny, I need you to go with the new guys and show them the loops of scavenging for us. Of course, Tobias. Hey, new guys, grab a pack. We're leaving shortly. We're gonna give you a job so you can pull your weight around here. Trevor, ready to pay Mason's group a visit? Yes, we're ready when you are. I'll lead the way. Little pig, little pig, let me in. You know, it's rude to keep your guests waiting. Don't make me fucking ask again. You see that? Now that is some fucking service, am I right? We almost turned away at your gate. Do I get mad? Do I throw a fit? Do I bash some poor redhead girl's fucking dome in? No. Me and my guys wait. Motherfucking service. Hold this. 
just look at this place. It's motherfucking cocksucking magnificent. Wow. Who knew I would be going back to school? Hot damn. You aren't living like kings, but pretty damn close. How many rooms do you have in here? We have 20 classrooms, a gym, and a cafeteria. We had 24 classrooms before they burned down. I bet you still have a few of these fuckers empty, don't you? <laughs> of course you do. It's an embarrassment of riches, as they say. Yes, sir. I do believe you'll have plenty to offer up. Well, you going to show us around or not? Well, what would you like to see first? My men are going to split up. Search the classrooms a bit. Speed this process along. While they're at it, I just want to point out that we're not taking a scrap of your food. It's slim pickings in there, I heard. How would you know? See, the thing is, I am everywhere. Okay, what do you want me to say? How about a fucking thank you? You think that might be in order? Listen, prick. I know we started off on the wrong foot. I didn't want to kill your friend. You forced my fucking hand. I'm actually quite reasonable if you fucking cooperate. I'll believe it when I see it. This everything? Yes. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I was just expecting more. I knew your food rations were low, but... Oh well. It's your first time. We'll take half of your medicine and ammunition. That a boy. Load that shit up. See you later, alligator. Oh, wait. How careless of me. You didn't think I'd leave Jessie, did you? After what she did, why would you want her? Thanks for being so accommodating, friend. In case you haven't caught on, I just slid my dick down your throat, and you thanked me for it. And with that, we'll be going now. Take your time closing the gate when we're gone. Enjoy how safe we made this area for you while we were waiting. We're really nice people when you get to know us. Honest. I'll be taking back my bike now. And I hope you don't mind me keeping your crossbow. Again. Where the hell is he? This is taking too long. Oh, shit. Alright asshole, you're coming with me to answer a few questions. The fuck I am? You better hope Tobias doesn't hear about this. Simon, let's get this shit unloaded and inside. Gonna be dark soon, and I wanna be tucked in and catching some Z's with an ample time to throw the wood in at least a couple of my wives. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm going to fuck some of my girls tonight. Get it? I'm well aware, Tobias. We have adjoining rooms, remember? Oh shit, I totally forgot! Don't lie, you know you enjoy listening in. Well, I can't say I do, but as, as long as you're entertaining yourself. The fuck I am! What the fucking fuck? Drop it, Rambo! I only want Tobias. He killed my friend. Turn him over and I'll let the rest of you live. Nobody else has to die. God damn, you're adorable. Did you pick that gun because it looks cool? 
You totally fucking did, didn't you? It's almost twice your size. Kid, I'm not gonna lie to you. You scare the fucking shit out of me. You little fuck! Keith! Back the fuck off! You're going to beat on a little defenseless child? Is that any way to treat our new guests? Come on, I'll show you around. New plan, guys. Burn the dead and we'll unload the truck tomorrow. I don't think I'll get around to fucking so much as one of my wives tonight. Let's make this quick, guys. I don't want to be out here all day. Gather what you can find and get your asses back in the car ASAP. How are you holding up? I'm alright. It's not very ideal for me to stick with the men who murdered my friend. You and Ty were with Donovan before we found each other. He was harsh at times, but he was like a father to all of us. Especially you, Wade. I know. He was a great man. This is bullshit. I know, Troy. But we can't really do anything about it. Vincent is trying to get to know me better. I don't like any of these guys. We found these guys trying to steal from us. Is that so? What is up with everyone being thieves these days? We don't want trouble. We're starving. Please, just let us go and we'll never see each other again. Nope. That's not how we do things. Ask my friend Troy here. His group stole from us. Now they're with us. You will do the same, but we'll have to pop one of you first. Please. Kill me if you have to kill someone. Just not our son. You want me to kill you? Most people aren't so... Accommodating. I like your offer. However, you don't have a choice here. <laughs> I'll cap all three of you if I feel like it. Please don't kill us. We just want food. Oh, we'll give you food. But first, we must make an example. Troy, kill the boy. What? You heard me. Kill the boy. I've never killed someone before. Well, that's great. Point the gun at his head and squeeze the trigger. It's that simple. Please. I don't want to die. I'm sorry, kid. Stop hesitating, Troy. Kill him. Good job, Alex. Now we'll find out where these fuckers live. You're not getting shit from me. Really? Why shouldn't I kill you now then? Huh? I'm more valuable to you alive than dead. You'll learn that eventually. My son went with you guys to your camp. I want him back and you're going to tell me exactly where the hell you live. <laughs> Fine. I'll lead you there. You're gonna regret this. Get a group ready to leave within the hour. We're paying Tobias a visit. Are you sure this is the best idea? Tobias could kill us all. You said so. I will get back my son, regardless of the consequences. Eight more miles and you'll be there. We're not letting you go anytime soon, buddy. You'll be with us for the rest of the way. Yeah, asshole. You're our bitch until we get you home. <laughs> you guys have some balls, I'll give you that. Just continue leading the way, Trevor. Do you think this is a good idea, Quinn? What? Taking a man who killed a kid in your group hostage and forcing him to take us to his camp in order to speak to his leader, who beat another one of our friends to death for targeting them first? No. Bad idea never crossed my mind. Look, Daniel. Going after Tobias, especially so soon after... Caitlin, this is dangerous. We're poking the bear with a stick. Sis, I get it, but these are our people we're talking about here. 
John is at Tobias's camp, and after everything Mason did for us, we owe him that much to get his son back. Just remember, blood is blood. We've had each other's backs, and that will stay the same even if things don't work out with this group. Hurry up. What? Don't like babysitting a grown man while he pisses? We just want to get Mason's son back. Then you can. <laughs> Shit. Want to hand me a weapon? <laughs> Damn. Caught me off guard. Thanks a lot for not letting me die. I know it's high on your to-do list, but... Yeah, well... Luckily, you're more valuable to me alive than dead. What do you mean he escaped, Nathan? A few walkers attacked us, and he took the opportunity to run. How the hell are we going to find their camp now? He said it was eight miles that way. Just keep following the road, and we'll find it eventually. I thought I could count on you, Nate. Don't even start, Mason. Here's my evil lair, kid. Scary, huh? Nope. It's a man's wet dream. I know, right? Every woman where you're from dresses like an elderly lesbian. You're gonna want to stare at their titties. I won't mind. They won't mind. Knock yourself the fuck out. But first, we must talk. Ladies, get the fuck out. Are they all your wives? Yeah. I always wanted to be able to fuck a whole bunch of women. So why settle down with just one? I see no reason to follow the old boring and mundane rules. Let's make life better. Why not? Wait, you know what fucking is, right? Yeah, kind of. Sex stuff. <laughs> not going there. No fucking way. Daddy can tell you all about the birds and the bees. Let's get started. Started on what? I'd like to get to know you better, John. First, I want to tell you how motherfucking smart you are, just in case you already didn't know. You're what? 14? Who cares? I'd expect a kid your age to be running away, trying to get out, having my people chase you all over this community, but you stayed right with me. I barely even had to look at you. Because you knew that if you fucked something else up, I'd chase you down and break your little kid neck. Right? I... Doesn't matter. You killed like five or six of my men just now. So many I didn't even get a good fucking count. I can't go unpunished, so... Let me get to know you better. Is your mom still with you? Or did she leave Mason? Or is she dead? Dead. Last year. She loved my dad. You and your dad have been through shit, huh? My mom was pregnant. Someone in our group got her killed. He was locked away for it for a long time until he escaped. Man. I didn't know you took prisoners. Your group sure as hell didn't with my people. My dad was trying to make an example of him. He... Did things that were terrible. We wanted him to live with what he did. What did he do? Kill a fuck ton of people? Yeah, but... He also, he mainly killed women after he did stuff to them. He raped them. Yeah. I would have fucking killed that guy. He doesn't deserve to live after what you told me. Not fucking cool. Now he escaped? Mason should have just ended his life. That guy is out there a free man. But enough talk about morals and ethics, all pleasantries aside, and I think you'd agree I've been more than fucking pleasant since I found you here. You killed a bunch of my men with a fucking machine gun. Fucking mowed them down. I need something in return for that. Plain and simple. Sing me a song. What? I can't, I, I don't know any. Fucking bullshit. You don't know any songs? You never went to camp? Your mom didn't sing to you? Never drove with dad listening to the classic rock station? You killed my men, and you're going to sing me a fucking song. Okay. You- 
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when... Don't let me distract you, kid. Continue. I'll handle this. Stay put. Just the man I wanted to see. How motherfucking convenient it is to meet you on the road like this. Where were you headed? To see you. My word. And you're headed in the right direction. How strange. Well, if I didn't know better, I'd suspect, where's John? Who? Oh, I'm kidding. That's actually the reason I'm here. I was coming to see you, if you can believe it. I can't fucking wait until you see what I've done to your little boy. God fucking damn it! Did you fucking bite me? For fuck's sakes, man! Now I'm super fucking pissed off. You have no clue how much you're going to regret having done this in a couple of minutes. Let's all just take a fucking breath and try to calm the fuck down. Fuck. My son. My son. Dad? I'm so sorry, Dad. Poor choice of words, I'll admit. What I should have said was, I can't fucking wait until you see that I've done nothing to your little boy. I'll admit that I was trying to instigate you. That's on me. I didn't think you'd fucking take my bait so easily. You caught me off guard. Shit. I never should have. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's okay, John. You're okay. That's all that matters. I was stupid. I was trying to show you that I was grown up. That I could do stuff. Your son sure did do stuff. Fucking machine gunned down at least five of my men. And can I say something? I don't quite understand the hostility in that look. No fucking sir. I gave your son back. Without harming so much as a hair on his head. Your asshole son? But let me remind you, shot a few of my guys, shot them fucking dead, is returned safe and sound. On the flip side, there's me. I'm willing to bet you couldn't take that kind of beating I just took. Without wanting to kill the person doing the beating. Yeah. Not me though. I'm a special kind of person. I don't fucking rattle. Still, here I am. Friendly as a fuckless fuck on Free Fuck Friday. What's got you being so nice all of a sudden? I've got a lot to make up for. You think I got all these communities at my feet because I roam the countryside bashing in ginger skulls? That's no fucking way to make friends. Everybody toes the line because I provide them a service. I keep them safe. We're the peacekeepers, not the kill your friends so you don't fucking like us at all. Are we going to kill your friends if you don't cooperate? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure I've established that. And now that I've established that if you do cooperate, as I believe you are, we won't do bad things to your son. Even though he killed a few of my men because he didn't fucking know any better. You following this at all? I think so. Yeah. Then why are you still giving me the stink eye? Aren't we fucking friends? We will cooperate. I've told you this already. But you don't strike me as the type of guy who'd want me to lie and say we're friends. Or believe me that if I did say that. Point taken. Okay then, this feels like progress to me. Yep, this is good. I'm really feeling really fucking good here. Just so I'm absolutely crystal fucking clear, there was a clear message I wanted to convey here today. That message is, I can be reasonable. I can be completely fucking reasonable. In fact, I fucking prefer it that way. I don't want to do the bad things I do. I only do them to set boundaries, to make people aware of the consequences of their actions. I take no joy in those deeds. Jessie, on the other hand, <laughs> thankfully she's not in charge. So we're good here? Good. We'll be making another supply run soon. We'll see you then. <laughs> June? I didn't mean to interrupt, but when we were burying Jordan's body, I found a note in his pocket. It was for you. 
Oh, thank you, Hank. No problem. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> June. As you obviously knew, I went outside the walls in order to find Gage. When packing this morning, I had a sudden urge to write this letter to you. I pushed the thought aside as there was no time to waste. But as the day progressed, I kept feeling the desire to write my thoughts down. I literally wrote this on a map I found in a car. We're currently taking a 10 minute breather right now and that is when I'm writing this. Enough with the background details though. On to the main thing. June. I spent all the times with you inside the walls worrying about what would happen if one of us passed and we weren't there together as one of us took our last breath. I refused to go outside the walls because of this. I wanted to be there to protect you, to make sure you were never scared. However, I realize now that I only did that because I was the one who was scared. Of course I wanted to make sure you felt secure, but I was just as, if not more, scared than you were. Every time Alex or Nathan would ask if I wanted to tag along on a scouting mission, I would stay. I worried that if something happened, you and I would never forgive ourselves for not being there with each other until the end. But after watching Nate and Dan being so brave out here, putting their lives at risk, I realized that it's foolish not to come out here. We have to face our demons at some point. I am unsure if you have faced yours yet, but I have faced mine now, on the road. I know that no matter what, everything will be fine. Being out here, away from you, has made me realize how much I truly miss you. It made me realize how much I truly love you. No matter what happens, know that I love you. Despite the fact that you have yet to say it, I know you love me too. Sincerely, Jordan. <laughs> I love you too, Jordan. Welcome to Brooks. Population, a couple dozen deadheads. Last time I was here, I had to socialize with a few dozen assholes. This place was full of assholes. You should have saw how they treated us after we rescued their asses from Tobias. Where are they now? Dead. They left our group and Tobias's men found them. Made an example out of them. Shepard managed to survive with us. He isn't too happy that I run the high school though. You think he actually thought we would nominate him later once he, he arrived? Probably. The guy's so full of himself. But he is the biggest coward I know. Anyways, we need to distract these guys. Well, you're in luck, Mason. I have an idea. Yeah, you. Come on. Come get yourself a little bit of Dan the Man. Let's get the supplies loaded up fast. We can't stay here forever. You hear that, Mace? The noise stopped. The second we turn the cars on, they will be here. Let's get out of here quick then. Well, look what we have here. Nice. I got your back, Quinn. Don't you, David? No. I see a clearing, Mason. Everybody, head towards it. There's too many. Daniel, get out of there now. Run, my friend.
Everyone in the car, now. What a coincidence running into you in a giant horde. I use their masses to scout places. Unfortunately, I have yet to find Tobias's camp. We'll find it sooner or later. Hey, don't move, or I swear to God. Hey, kids. What are you doing so far away from home? We were in the area and we heard gunfire. Was that you? Yeah, we ran into some walkers. I reckon you found that mega herd, huh? Tobias had us corralled them towards the nearest interstate. They were getting in the way of our trade routes, so... What do you want? Well, aren't you an impatient little fucker? Look, we need some... Mm, help. With what? We need to guide some walkers out of an area and into our biter trap sites. If you help, we will be easy on you next time we come for supplies. Maybe we'll only take a quarter of your rations. Fine. Looks like you got yourself another crossbow. We aren't friends. I know. But you're gonna be for this mission of ours. I have a bike for you to use. Besides, I didn't tell Keith that you guys kidnapped me, so... Don't push my buttons, Nathan. So what is it, Stephen? Is everything okay? I know what the problem is, Jonathan. You have prostate cancer. In the old world, we could cure it. However, this isn't the old world. We don't have the medicine or supplies to treat it. Oh. How long do I have? I'm not sure. Maybe a month or two? It just depends on how long your body is willing to fight it. I'm really sorry, Jonathan. It would be wise to let June know and settle any unfinished business. Steven, don't tell anyone about this. I will tell them when I'm ready. But with Tobias being a primary focus, this is not the time to tell them. Of course, your secret's safe with me. So my guys will open the gate up and let the decade out. Trevor and your two guys will lure them east a few miles into a trap. All we have to do is get the high-valued items out of there as quick as possible. Alright. I take it gunfire is not a lot if things go wrong. See? You get it. I like that about you. Alright. Everything is going as planned. They're following the motorcycles. Hey, easy with the merchandise, guys. Damn. This shit almost cost me an arm and leg. Tobias wasn't happy to hear that our chopper went down in a biter infested zone. Nevertheless, thanks for the help, Mason. All this work for fucking weed and heroin? Are you fucking serious? Hey, we asked for help. That it doesn't concern you with what? We will hold up our end of the bargain, all right? I'll let Tobias know that you were a good dog and did a trick for us. Thanks for the help, guys. We have a few of these trap sites in the area. They work pretty well and they benefit both our communities. How many are trapped in the area? Maybe a couple thousand. We burn them at the end of each week so they don't weaken the walls too much. Let's head back now before they leave us behind. Look shitface, mind your own goddamn business. I'm about ready to kill one of you because of how incompetent you are. You touch any of us, I will fucking end you, Keith. Oh, is that so? Tobias would love to hear what you're saying right now. He would understand. His dog is barking a little too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bring me this asshole's son. I'm going to- Holy fuck! You guys just killed Keith! You're all fucked! 
hope you guys don't mind me putting a bullet in Keith's head. I really didn't like him. We need to have a talk, Mason. I'm going to help you take out Tobias. Only a few more miles, honey, and then we're safe. Trev, they're gonna find us. We shouldn't have stolen from them. They'll kill us if we go back, Alicia. We have to go. You saw how Tobias and his men treated us. I know. Fine, let's just keep going then. Shit. It's Vincent. They know we're here. Check the area. We can't be far. Trevor? Alicia? Is that you? You're gonna pay for all the resources we've had to expend to find you too. Let's just go back to camp and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine, Alicia. Stay calm. Trevor? Come out now. Look, we know you're here. We're all tired. Don't you guys want to have a roof over your head again? We will write off what you two did as a misunderstanding. Of course, there will be consequences, but they will be mild. Trevor, go on without me. I love you. Wait, no. I'm right here. Don't shoot. Where's T? We got separated. A group of biters attacked us and he led them away. I've been trying to find him for the past couple of hours. Alright, we'll find him, but first, we'll take you back to where you belong. Knock knock, who's there? Open the fucking door! Um, who are you? You better be fucking joking. Tobias? Jesse? I know I had to make a pretty fucking strong first impression last time I was here. Tell you what. You go fetch that guy, Mason, and tell him Big Daddy Tobias is here. He'll know what to do. I'm afraid Mason's out on a supply run right now. Does he take any messages? Who's the bitch in here that does that for him? I guess I do. But I'm not a- Of course you are. Just let me the fuck in. Look, I'm not in the mood for waiting the fuck around. Just point us in the right direction so we can load up what you do fucking have. We're actually running low on everything. That's why Mason went so far out with a few others. We're practically starving in here. Starving? <laughs> really? By practically, do you mean not fucking really? Y'all look healthier than a newborn calf. How about some place to rush first, then? What's your name, sweetheart? Stacy. And whose bitch are you? I'm with Chris. Can't remember talking to Chris. Oh wait. Is is he that handsome looking one handed man here? Y yes. What a catch. I'd tap that on the daily if I was you. What do you want, Father Time? I just wanted to know if you'd like a drink. Damn. The service has gone up around here. Give me that shit. This is good. Do you have more? Yes. Hopefully Mason brings back more on his run. Well, shit. It's settled then. This is my fucking vacation home. I've done a shit ton of shit and I deserve a vacation. This is the best motherfucking place around. Brooks was a great place to be when it was still standing. I used to run that place before I was destroyed. I heard about Brooks. Never went there. Sorry about your home, by the way. It was just business. Hope you understand. Also, is there a weight room in this place? I would assume so since it's a high school. Yeah. Most of the equipment is either broken or used elsewhere, but I have some of the weights in my house, actually. And guess who the fuck just became my new best friend? 
I'm sure you know the answer. What's my best friend's name? My people called me Shepard, but you can call me Davis, and come over any time. Oh, I will. <laughs> I definitely will. Well, it looks like I'll be at the very least spending the night here, waiting for your fearless leader's return. If you like, Stacy, I think I'd enjoy fucking your brains in. If you and Chris were agreeable to it, of course. We could do a three-way. It wouldn't be the first... <laughs> Let her go. I'm about 50% more into you now. Just saying. Mason led me to believe at least a few of these classrooms were vacant. Can you lead me and my men to your finest vacant classroom? We'll just put up our feet until our supplies arrive. Tobias, do you mind if I talk to you for about something? Oh, uh, yeah, what is it, Damien? It's Shepard or Davis, but I wanted to talk to you about Mason. What about him? I understand that you're trying to build something here with all these people. I can't say I agree with all of your methods, but I get it. You're building a network. You're, you're making people work together and contribute to a greater good. It makes sense. Mason Theron is not someone who works well with others. He and I did not agree with how things should go between our communities. I was going to accept your policy in Brooks until he showed up and killed your men, which I did not ask of him. Maybe now he does want to work with you, but I'm telling you, this guy cannot be the boss. He's got to be in charge, otherwise his, his ego drives him nuts. Is that so? Well, what do you propose? Well, I was in charge of another group before. Brooks, like I said, and I ran it well. I think I could lead these people and make sure they never rebel against you. I think that's what we need. What you need. So what? I kill him, put you in charge? That's what you're saying? We'd be much better off. You've given me a lot to think about. And I have been thinking. I think about how Mason fucking threatened to kill me. How he clearly hates my fucking guts. But he's out there right now, like a busy fucking bee, gathering shit to give me, so I don't hurt any of these nice folks living here. He's swallowing that hatred to get shit done. That takes guts. Then, I look at you, Shepard. The guy who waited until Mason was gone to sneak over to talk to me to get me to do his dirty work so he could take Mason's place. You wanted to take over. Why not just kill Mason and take the fuck over? You know why? I, I don't... I, I didn't... Because you got no guts. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. They are there. They were inside you the whole time. You did have guts. I've never been so wrong before in my life. <laughs> Clean this up before a kid sees it. And find out where this asshole lives. I want to lift some weights. Stacy, what the hell is going on here? Nobody's at the gate. I'm sorry, it's just... What is it? He's here. Shepard's dead. Tobias, he... Tobias gutted him. I'll handle this. Stacy, where is he? Lifting weights in Shepard's room. I thought we had an agreement. Oh, Mason. So fucking good to see you, my friend. I'd shake your hand, but I'm a little sore from all the weightlifting. My shoulder's absolutely killing me. I'm a bit out of practice. Can I get you an ice water? You killed one of my people. What the fuck happened? Why don't we talk about this while we're packing up your supplies? Now that I'm fully closed and my pecs aren't distracting you, I will tell you what happened. I'm going to refrain from profanity momentarily to 
illustrate just how serious I am. I will not say another word until you say, thank you, Tobias. Explain yourself now, or you and your men don't leave this place alive. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Sorry. Let me collect my thoughts. I understand our relationship started with me beating the fucking fuck out of Red. The gravity of that event is not fucking lost on me. Let me assure you of that. Hell, I think there's still some of her brain matter in my ear. Nonetheless, I don't believe we will ever share a meal together and tell each other our deepest fucking darkest secrets. That said, god damn it. I do feel like I have bent over fucking backwards in my attempts to show you how reasonable I can be. Is this a fucking joke? Oh, how they forget so soon. Answer me this. After your son hid in one of my trucks and machine gunned a few of my men to death, what did I do? Did I get the boy? Or let a few of my boys run a train on him? As an aside, I'll reveal that was always an empty threat. As much as I love violence, I absolutely fucking hate sexual violence. It's unseemly. No, I brought him back to you safe and absolutely sound. Like some kind of apocalyptic Santa Claus. Ho fucking ho. Let me put it to you this way. Mason the prick, who will never give me the benefit of the doubt because I had to kill one of his measly friends to get him in line. The next time someone asks me to kill you and put them in charge, I might just take him up on that offer. All this shit will do. My boys will load up all of it. You mean you'll load up half? You know what? Keep all of it. Consider it a payment for the traitor. I didn't realize it'd ruffle your feathers so goddamn much. No, you take half. A deal's a deal. Fine by me. You heard the man. Load up half. Pleasure doing business with you, Mason. I'll be back in a week's time. Until then, adios. Sarah, I need you to get your rifle and get to the roof. It won't take them long to leave. What? Okay. What are you saying? Tobias is only here with about six guys. This might be our best chance to get him. He's not leaving here alive. I can't fucking wait to get in one of my girls tonight. What a day. Now I can finally rest on the way home. Sleeping like a motherfucking baby on. What the fuck are these idiots doing? No fucking way they are. Fucking fuck. No fucking way. No fucking way. Don't try anything stupid. Like what you just did? Fuck. You ever hear the one about the guy who brought a mace to a gunfight fucker? Surprise? I assume I can trust your sniper not to take me out while they see you are very much in danger. If she does, she'll get sniped too. You ever hear the one about the stupid fuck named Mason who fucking thought he knew shit but didn't know shit and got himself fucking killed? It was about you. You got that, right? You pushed me and you pushed me and you fucking pushed me, Mason. You know what happens when I reach my breaking point, right? What happens to you? You think I... No! You do not get to fucking talk right now. You just killed a couple of my fucking men. You were going to kill me. You get to listen. How fucking stupid are you? You lead these people. You have to know something. You ever notice how sometimes my visits have been off a day or two? You think that's because I'm late? Or just early? Like I got stuck in traffic or just left too soon? Organizing a group of men to get here. That'd be a piece of fucking cake. The rest. The backup team. <laughs> that takes a little more planning and scheduling. In case you haven't noticed, you're fucking fucked. You stupid fucker. What now? 
Oh, it's something very familiar. Line them up. Let's see who gets the honor this time. Hmm, how about the doctor? Please, no. Please don't kill me. The fuck? They need me. I'm their doctor. It can't be me. It, it can't be you? So you mean to say it need be someone else? What a fucking asshole. These people are your fucking friends, right? How long have you lived with them? Do they have any importance here? Do they have special attributes? Or are their talents less important than your own? This is seriously fucking me up right now. Wow. Okay. New fucking plan. If one of you can say, kill this fucking asshole right now, he's the one who dies, not you. Well, any takers? Nothing? Jesus. Have it your way. So, Mason, what's your plan of action? Maybe your sniper should kill me before my sniper shoots yours. Sarah! Oh, God. Don't act surprised. I told you that sniper cunt was going to die. Now, can we please focus on the situation at hand? After all, you've got problems of your own here. Am I fucking right? For fuck's sakes, cheer up. She went quick. Probably didn't feel a goddamn thing. Of course, you always hear, My life flashed before my eyes. And I've always heard that in times of stress, people do perceive time differently. Like, things move slower. So maybe even when death is quick, you do feel something. Maybe the final painful moment plays out for what seems like hours. Maybe your reaction is completely fucking valid then. Either way, I don't really give a shit. Besides, this is only the beginning. Save some tears for the other asshole I'm about to kill. Shit, maybe this time I'll kill too. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Or maybe it'll be you, Mason. You never know. Wink. I guess I can be somewhat of a reasonable guy and flip on a coin to see if one or two of you die. So what is it, Mason? Heads or tails? Just get it over with. I guess I win. Tails it is. You know what, Mason? This reminds me of what you said to me back in that forest. I'm gonna kill you. Not today, not tomorrow. Well, Mason, I'm gonna kill you. Not today, not tomorrow. What the fuck? Oh God, nobody shoot. John, you little fuck. Bring that boy to me. He's mine, I want him. He's gonna pay for this fucking shit. Give him to me or you all die. I'm not getting any younger. Where's my boy? I think that's gonna be a hard pass, buddy. And you can take that with a side of go fuck yourself, psycho. I don't even know who the fuck said that. I'll deal with each and every one of you sorry fucks later. I've wasted my time. Jesse will have her revenge. Mason, you know the song. Care to join in? You can hum along if you like. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch. Why the fuck hasn't someone shot you? Your soldiers suck. Fuck this. Take those two. We're taking them with us. All these assholes are dying now. No need for all of us to die today. Let's go. Are you okay, Sarah? Uh, yeah. I just need to rest for a while. We need to finish this, Mason. Right now. No shit. Get a group together. We leave in five minutes. We haven't really got to talk about what happened at the Peacekeeper's hideout. I was fine. I don't remember where to find it, if that's why you're here. No. I wouldn't expect you to remember. It couldn't have been easy to hide away in that truck. I was terrified. I would be too. 
I'm still upset that you did that, but I don't blame you for doing it. Maybe David would be alive if you guys didn't have to come after me. I wasn't thinking about that. What happened to David had nothing to do with you. He died, Dad. Yeah. Feels like there's a lot of that going around. But that's why I need you. No more kid stuff. I wish you could have the childhood I had. But that's not going to happen. People are going to die. I'm going to die. Mom. There's no way you can ever be ready for it. I try to be, but I can't. The best we can do now is to avoid it as long as we can. Keep one step ahead. I wish I had something better to say. Something more profound. My father was good like that. But I'm tired, son. We have to kill Tobias. Some of us probably won't survive this. If I don't survive this, I want you to know that everything I did for this group was for you. I tried to do what was in the best interest for you. Killing Tobias, I'm doing that for you. I want you to be safe. I'm doing whatever it takes to make that happen. Even if it kills me, son. You saw them kill Keith? Yeah. These two were with them. They took Trevor hostage, too. Screw Trevor. They can have him. Zach, I want you to take this guy. Quinn, right? Fuck you. Thought so. Anyways, take him to the trap site. These fuckers poke the bear with the stick. So let's have the bear smack him with an even bigger stick. Tobias took two of our own. He's probably running back to his camp right now to slaughter us all. We aren't going to hit him with everything we have. Not yet. Trevor's on our side. He will help us when the time is right. We're only going to find his camp today. Pick off what we can and try to compromise their walls. Let the walkers do the rest. Tobias has several trap sites where he keeps thousands of walkers. We're going to lead the dead to their place and let them do the rest. Similar to what we did to that outpost we attacked a few months ago. Now let's go. Did you hear that, Mace? Yeah, it's getting hot. Fall back. We need to trap the dead here. This campsite looks like it fell a while ago. We can keep them in here. The high school should be safe. Damn straight, we'll do it live. Looks like Tobias was a few steps ahead of us, though. This is going to work, Dan. If we fire off at the same time, the hurry will spread out in all directions, away from home. Honestly, we should just head back now. If we warn the others before it's too late, we could get some cars moved out in front of the gates. Then we can do crowd control on them. That's a better idea, Mason. If we head back now, that'd be for us. We stay out here and finish this for everyone at home. Do you see this, Mason? hell is this? Buyers couldn't have done this, right? It looks too clean and precise. Yeah. Someone else did this. This person was skinned or something. You think this was the peacekeepers? No. This was someone else. They're here, Mason. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's start. The wall's gonna come down. Get ready to fire. Jesus Christ, there's way too many. Listen, we need to wait. Our plane's fucked.
What in God's name? You can hear it. Some of you saw it. They got back here. Tobias released the trap sites before we could get to them. We led them through an old settlement, but only some of them got stuck in there. There's still enough to surround us 20 deep. Look, I know you're all scared. We haven't seen anything like this. We haven't been through anything like this. There is far more at the gate than there ever has. But we're safe for now. The fences and walls seem intact. We'll reinforce it just in case. Either way, the walls are gonna hold together. Can you? <laughs> These reinforcements to the wall should keep the biters at bay for now. Even if they do crumble, it will prevent them from making any defenses. You might want to take a rain check on that maze. Son of a bitch. Get back! Weapons drawn and ready to fire. We're gonna need a hell of a lot more bullets. Jake, get some of those logs we cut and prop them on the fences. With enough weight, they will buckle. We cannot let that happen. What we need to do is lure the dead with the car back to Tobias's camp. We will, but we need to think straight right now. One wrong decision and it's over. Mason, there is no right or wrong. There are only choices. Choices are the reason we are all alive today. Whether they are right or wrong, decisions don't matter. Chris told me about how great you were as an officer. He said you would always make the right decision. What you just said was bullshit and you know it. You don't know me, Mason. A lot's happened to both of us since the last time. I don't make the right decisions ever. I do whatever it takes to live. Regardless of who that kills. Tobias should be our main priority right now. We should be taking a fucking group to his camp and killing all of them. None of them get to live. So you want us to play the same way the bad guys are? That isn't who we are. If we resort to the same heinous acts Tobias does, then we have already lost. You lose a chunk of your humanity every time you compromise your values. Do you hear that? Everyone inside! The gate has been compromised! We need to get to a truck and lead them away. This place isn't going to fall so easily. I have a plan. Some of you might not like it. Stay quiet and do not bother. The guts will mask our scent. It worked before. Let's go. Open the damn gate, Vinny. Oh, you're alive. We thought you were dead. Again. Oh well, 
I'll let Tobias know of the great news. First undead ghouls, and now we gotta deal with motherfucking ghosts? Reports of my demise were greatly exaggerated. I heard you were killed along with Keith. Oh well, there's always next time, I suppose. Follow me. I can use your help with something. We have a very special guest staying at Sonoya right now. I think you can recall him. After all, you did steal his crossbow. Nathan's here? Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! I know you two are practically arch enemies, but... We need to get him through processing. ASAP. Nice to see you again, Nathan. It's good to see that your balls are still in Tobias's grasp, Trevor. Alright, enough with the foreplay between you two. Let's get this party started. Tell him what to do, Trevor. Come on. Drop your pants. Jesus, look at that Goliath of a dick. Nowhere near as big as mine, but no worries. And if you ever want to know for sure how big my dick is, just come or ask. Or you can ask Trevor's super hot wife, Alicia. <laughs> Believe it or not, things weren't always cool between us. T here, he worked for points. Him and his super hot wife. You see, Alicia had a little sister. She needed meds, and that is hard to scavenge, so it cost more. She fell behind on points, so I asked her to marry me. Told her I would take care of her in sickness and in health, blah blah blah, because I am a stand-up guy. She tells me she's going to think about it. Next thing you know, I'm dealing with an orange situation. Trevi boy here stole all the medication, took off with his super hot wife and my super hot maybe soon to be fiance. So I send some of my guys after him. Because I can't let something like that stand. There are rules. Costing me an arm and leg going after him. And you know what? Trevi boy, he still got away. Even after Sis died out there and his super hot wife came back. But here's the thing. T, he saw the light. He manned up. He came back and he asked for my forgiveness. I like that. Made me take notice. Jessie, well, you know how she is. She is a stickler for the rules. So Trevor, he begged me not to kill Alicia, which I thought was kind of cute. So I was just going to kill him. But Alicia says that she will marry me if I let him live. Which if you think about it, that's a pretty screwed up deal because I was going to marry her sister until she wound it up dead. But, Alicia is super hot. Anyways, it was a start, but it wasn't enough. So Trevor, he got the iron. And then, I married his super hot wife. <laughs> Ex-wife. And after all that, he still got on board. And now look at him. Bow! One of my top guys. And we are totally cool. The point being, this is your new home now. Eventually, I think you could be that guy. I don't think you're ready to be that guy just yet. But, sooner or later, you will. Until then, we will feed you every now and then. Whenever we have leftovers. Now, in a sign of good faith, Jesse would really like the respect she deserved especially after what John the little twat did to her so kiss her that a boy you sure do know how to treat a lady that reminds me I need to make some love to Trevor's super hot wife 
I'll leave Trevor to get you situated. See you around, Nathan. Look, we all had to lose our dignity to submitting to his rules. It may take time, but you will reclaim that dignity. Suck it up and things will work out for you. I'm not one of you. I understand you're new to this thing, but what he's done to you, there's always more. Everything's his or will be, including you. Just go. There's nothing more you can do to me. <sighs> Unbelievable. One more thing. Take off your bandages now. You and I are a lot alike. I am what you become, Nathan. Guard the door until further notice. Someone will relieve you in an hour or so. Here's some clothes, buddy. When I want you to get cold. And here's some water. Sooner or later, you'll play. Your love is for running at a speed of life. Kissing at a city life. Calls me in this morning's just goes on. Running at a speed of life. Kissing at a city life. Calls me in this morning's heart. It just goes on. John, no. Please save him. I'm doing everything I can, Lisa. I need you to protect me in the meantime. I didn't think this group would have what it takes to deal with Tobias. I thought this would be a suicide mission. But today, I saw what we could do. We'll rebuild the walls. There's gotta be more. Anything is possible here. It's all possible. I see that now. I knew. When I was out there with everyone, and when it was over, when I knew we had this place again, I had this, this feeling. It took me a while to remember what it was, because I, I haven't felt it since before everything happened, and it was just you, and Emily, and I. I want to show you the new world, John. I want to make it a reality for you. Please, John. Let me show you.
Hey guys, it's Stars for 1 through 6 coming at you with the mid season finale for season 8 of Lego The Walking Dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this first half of the season. We uh, got to see a lot go on, and I know this is the first time I actually talked to the credits and scene this season, which is a little bit different. We're doing the whole intro thing, which I like a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, we're going to be taking probably about a month to a month and a half break. Just because I need to catch back up with uh, scheduling these. I had these scheduled out in advance except for this episode. It finally caught up because this episode took me longer to make. Um, took me a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll release it once I get the first couple episodes. I'll release the second half once the first couple episodes are scheduled. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. We have a pretty crazy season ahead. Um, there's a lot going on. This season is probably one of the more action-packed ones we have some crazy ones coming up in the future but this one definitely takes the cake thus far um which is what i'm trying to do is try to make each season better than the last but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um well next episode we'll uh look more into what's going on at the sonoya colony with uh tobias's group and such and we'll see some pretty interesting stuff go down but nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been Star Wars 1 through 6. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see y'all later. Goodbye. God was with us when we took this place back. I envy your faith, Bates. Thanks for the help out here. I'm having a terrible back pain right now. Is everything alright with you, Jonathan? Um, let's not worry about me. We need to burn the corpses if we ever want to get rid of the damn smell. Let's bring on the heat. Get it over with, Daniel. Give a man fire, he'll be warm for an evening. But set a man on fire, and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. Where the hell do you get these phrases, Daniel? Like, jeez. Hey, I'm gonna give back your clothes now. I think your current state is going to change soon. If someone's there, you better come out now. So, ah! Maybe you shouldn't be so loud, dipshit. I thought that those assholes captured you. I helped with the herd that took their walls down. I did that for you. You see, I could care less regarding what you did. I hate Tobias and those people are going to help me, which means I can't keep you around. Wait, no! Thanks for meeting with us. If we do this today, we have to do it tonight. Tonight? Why? Tobias is sending a group of men to get supplies from another group. Also, there was another group that has been gone for a week or two, scouting areas further away for more survivors. They'll be back tomorrow. We will be our weakest tonight. I don't know when we will have another chance. We'll head back and get more people to help. Look, as great as that would be, the less people the better. Too many people may draw attention. I'll free Nathan and I'll see what I can do on the inside. Troy, my main man. You really have been proving yourself lately. I have a job for you. Fat David came down with some sort of sickness and we have to let him rest. I tried my best to get his ass down here to relieve you, but the doctor said he needs a rest. So follow me. You're going to be watching the prisoner. You're keeping prisoners? That's what I've been guarding this whole time? Remember, don't ask questions. Trevor will be here shortly to beat the fuck out of him for information. Don't worry, you just have to watch. Hey, Vinny. Tobias only calls me that. Watch your place. <laughs> Whatever. Is this scumbag changing his mind yet? Nope. Just do your job and maybe you will. I'm starting to think you're getting soft, Trevor. You don't want me to tell Tobias when he returns. Wait, Tobias left already? I thought he was sending Simon. Yeah. That was the plan until Robbie decided to kill three of our men yesterday. Didn't you hear? Nathan? How long have you been here? Like this? I have no idea. Maybe a month? We 
You thought you were dead, Troy. Is Jessica alive? Yeah. We found Kyle, too. He said you guys attacked some safe haven when he left. Apparently, the guy was a pervert doing things to the girls. Are June and Danielle still alive? And my father? We took care of him. June and Jonathan are still alive and with us. Danielle didn't make it out of the safe haven. I'm sorry. It's okay. I always, you know, just assumed they were dead. Made it easier, you know? I'm sure we've... Troy, don't talk to this man. Leave us at once. He's fine, Trevor. Troy used to be in Mason and I's group. Alright, whatever. Look, your friends are attacking tonight. We need to blow the main power line. The backup generators will kick in, but they are only expected to last a day or two. Troy, are the people we found with you trustworthy enough to help with that? Yeah, we want to leave this place as soon as possible. You want to do what? Look, Mason's group is still alive and they have Nathan here. They are attacking tonight. We need to blow up the power line. Damn it. Alright, Wade and I will do that. This is terribly dangerous, Troy. I understand the risks, but this thing, it's happening with or without us. Alright boys, you know what to do. Keep it quiet as long as we can. I gotta give you credit, Trevor. If Tobias was screwing my wife, I don't think I could take it. That's what makes you weak, Vincent. Sometimes you have to hide that hate until the time is right. Luckily, tonight is that time. What? We need to find Trevor and Nathan. What the fuck is this? We're the new recruits, remember? What fucking new recruits? The recruits for your position. You good? Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. Alright, the detonator will give us enough time to flee before the explosion. Wait, we have a problem. The timer on this fuse is broken. Something must have happened to it. One of us has to stay. We need a strong signal to detonate. Give me the detonator. Find your friends. No. Wait. We'll figure something else out. We don't have time. Your friends depend on us. Go. This isn't goodbye, Wade. It was nice knowing you, Kyle. Goodbye. Freeze! He's this way. You guys really fucked up. Time to blow. <laughs> this spot's been compromised. Come on. When will Tobias be back, Vinny? Fuck you. I've been waiting a very long time for this. All the shit you put me through. This can all stop if you tell me how long Tobias will be gone. You gotta kill me once I tell you. I'm not stupid. Really, you are. Because wouldn't you rather have quicker death? Stay still. <laughs> we have all night. Just tell me when he'll be back and how many men I should expect. He's never going to believe whatever bullshit you tell him, Trevor. You're already on that thin wire with him. Wrong answer. Remember, Vincent. There are rules. Fuck you. I think it's time you get the iron. I can personally promise that this will hurt. You have plenty of other body parts I can mutilate, Vincent. What's it gonna be? We'll be back in a day. He intends to kill Robbie's group entirely. Recruit the survivors if they choose so. Probably a couple dozen. You see? Is that so hard? I will admit, 
You were a champ, a loyal dog to guys. Good fucking job. Now here's your prize. What the fuck was that, Trevor? That's how you get information from someone. He deserved it. What's next? You need to escape. I'll take care of his advice. Don't worry. We gotta keep moving. Try to find the others. <laughs> the walkers are starting to cripple the walls. We'll let them do the rest of the work now. Have you guys seen Kyle and Wade? But there isn't time. Troy, listen to me carefully. Our group is living in the high school about five days north from here. Head there. You aren't coming? Trevor and I need to take out more of these guys. Each one that stays alive will just come at us at the high school later. Now go. Go with Troy to the high school. I'm sorry for everything, Trevor. We do what we have to do to survive. No. You didn't want to live in this world with Tobias. I made you. We could have escaped. I did what I did because I wanted you to live. Alicia. No, no. But now you've, you've killed and you've become everything you didn't want to be. And it's my fault. I made my choice. Leave now. I love you. Be safe. <laughs> Alright boys, we just have to hold off a little longer. Tobias and Simon and Wes will all be back soon. We will defend our land and provide security for any survivors. Who are we? We're Tobias! The walkers should be able to help us clear this place quicker. We're trained well. Most of us can easily take on the dead. But we'll use them as a distraction. We'll meet up with them and act like I was helping others. Split up. The south wall has been compromised. Is this everybody left? No. We still have at least 50 others trying to defend this place. We'll split up and are doing what we can. Where the fuck is Vincent? He's dead. Nathan and a few defectors escaped. I sent a small group of men after them. Most likely Mason's men. Damn it. Alright. Well, that means that you and I are in charge now, right? Yeah. That means you'll be taking Vincent's place if we survive. Enough talk. Let's fight. Alright, Liam. You and a few others defend this wall and I'll head over to the others and see how they're doing. Alright, we'll be fine. Let's do this, boys. Once Tobias returns, we'll finish him off. Let's go. Hey, you friends. We heard that you guys didn't pay up last time. In fact, our guys didn't even show up. Which means, either those sorry shits died and were devoured by the dead, or you guys killed them. I think we both know which one's the right answer. We're done providing for you. Let us be, we will not cross paths again. <laughs> I can't allow that, Robbie. Come on. You guys have been really great with following the rules. I understand that it can be hard to live our lifestyle, but those are the rules. Tobias killed my son. He was 16 years old. We've followed orders for nearly a year now. We're done. What did we tell you when we first met? Our deal is the only deal. Simon says to hand over your weapons. We're probably gonna have to kill another one of you because you misbehaved. But then we can put this beside us. Fuck you. Let us go. We don't want any quarrel with you. Simon says to hand over your weapons. Last chance. No. Wrong answer. Time to bring out the big man.
didn't have to come to this, guys. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Simon said to hand over your weapons. Things could have gone a fuck ton simpler if you just did that. Now, I have to take things into my own hands. I can see that you're the main reason that this group is lashing out. We're all that's left. Your men killed ours and let a herd run through us. You forced our hand. It sounds like you forced my men's hand. I will admit, those fuckers shouldn't have let the dead run through your town. But here we are. Jesse is extra thirsty today. Hey, beautiful. I went easy on it. Just let us go. We can't do anything to you. That's where you're wrong, Mr. Lady Tickler. Simon, do me the honor. What in the actual fuck fuckity happened here? Nathan escaped. Mason's group attacked and some walkers were used to their advantage. Jesus. Those fucktards really are messing with the hornet's nest. Well, we better repair the walls. Wes will be back soon. We lost a lot of men and women, but we'll still have 50 or 60 more peacekeepers at our disposal. I send Fat Joey and Skinny Billy to keep an eye on Mason's route. That a boy! Let's get started now. These walls won't hold for long. They're seriously compromised. I say we attack the high school and take the fuck over. Simon, that is the last thing we will do. They provide for us. We still have a few other groups to get supplies from, but we need to reel in all these people and remind them who is in charge. What are you implying? Well, I really didn't want to do this because I hate making martyrs, but we gotta kill Mason Theron. One move and you're dead, fucker. Jesus. Did you really think that this little, this little suicide mission was gonna work? Now this is the kind of stuff that just tickles my balls. I'll tell you what. What? Are you all right, Tobias? Yeah, daddy isn't happy. Line them the fuck up. You just tried to blow us up. What in the actual fuck is Mason putting in your guys' Kool-Aid? This is gonna be fun. Bring up the two soldiers. We'll save the traitor for later. Now, you guys know what's gonna happen, right? Just do it, fucker. We got a little mouth on this one. I'll tell you what. I have things to do, so I'll just get right to it. I'm sure Jesse won't mind. Look at my dirty girl! This now can just pop like a cherry! Holy shit! Round two, here we come! Get the men ready. We're going to war. This should help with the pain. Thanks. How have you been, Dr. Owens? I'm good. Just surviving. I'm sorry to hear that Alicia ran off. Yeah. She betrayed us. She was a great woman. Never suspected her to do something like that. Neither did I. Well, look who it is. The man, the myth, the legend. West, how was your travel? It had some setbacks, but we're, we're here now. What the fuck happened here? A lot has happened since you were gone. Look, I took over another group like usual, and they've been having a hard time adjusting. What are we going to do about it? Uh, kill most of them, lead the rest. Did you find out anything about my prisoner escaping? Yeah, actually. I 
found the key. You won't believe who had it, though. There's no fucking thing that would surprise me, Wes. Who was it? Mason shouldn't be too far away. We only scouted the surrounding areas. Well, I sure hope so, Alex. Papa Bear needs to rest. Never call yourself Papa Bear again, Daniel. <laughs> no promises. Nathan? Holy shit. How'd you escape? Long story short, Jake and a few others attacked Sinoya. And I escaped with some others. Daniel and I are with some others out here. We need to find them. You're all gonna want to pay close attention to this. Betrayal is a big fucking no-no here. While Simon and I were getting shit done, a lot happened here. We were attacked, but someone or someones helped Mason's group. Nathan escaped and a few peacekeepers defected. We began to investigate this occurrence. We found that someone stole the key and let Nathan out. At first, we thought it was the defectors, but we found this key somewhere where it shouldn't be. <laughs> we found that little souvenir in your desk. You left the door open and let my puppy out. You knew Alicia hated it here and wanted Nathan free. So you let him out and help the others. That is some Weasley shit right there. But I, I didn't. What, I would. What would I gain? It was Trevor. <laughs> Always making excuses. We all know that you had a thing for Alicia, Doctor Owens. She fucking knew it. Trevor fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Now, you do bring up a good case with Trevor. The problem is, Trevor would be stupid to stay here if he did that because he knows I would find out. Trevor, are you stupid? No, sir. I hate that bitch. She did this to my face. Exactly. But she ran. I didn't do- She ran? You know why she ran? Because she knew I would blame her. Which I did. Sir, Tobias. Please, Trevor's lying. He's setting me up. Why? Why would he do that? Why would he intentionally try to hurt you? Hand me the eye. I, I don't know. Like I said, he would have to be stupid. Because if he was lying, I would burn the other side of his fucking face off until he fucking died. So what in the actual fucking fuckity would he get out of this, Dr. Owens? No, 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 no. You see, I know my Trevor. He knows too well what I'm capable of doing. Right, Trevi? Right. Please don't. Jesus, please don't burn me. Now, you know I absolutely hate this shit. So just... Tell me you're sorry, and then I don't have to do this. <laughs> yes, I did it. I did all of it. I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's all you had to say. That is all you had to say. No! <laughs> thing we have a spare doctor around here. I trusted you, Trevi boy. Never should have doubted you. Alicia was one of my favorites. I'm truly, truly sorry. I'm not. <sighs> Ice cold. I like. They should be here. What's taking so long? Hey, friends. Nice to see y'all again. What you doing out here? We're trying to scavenge what we can. I know our groups aren't too fond of... <laughs> Not too fond. That's a way to put it. You see, you guys wanted to fight. All of us. So this 
This is how it has to be. You're coming with us. <laughs> you guys just never learn. I think we're learning pretty quick, Lapdog. So, Mason, what are we gonna do? It seems like we got ourselves in a bit of an orange situation. Is Tobias still alive? Why don't you speak to him yourself? Hello? Is that you, buddy? Macy, Macy, did you really think that sending a couple of men to kill me would work? Guess what? I got your little friend Jake here. Sounds like you have Simon alive as well, still, right? He's alive. Meet us in 10 minutes south of the wooden bridge. We'll trade. There doesn't have to be a fight. Don't do anything stupid, all right? Speak for yourself. Everyone follow my lead. We need to finish this. Even if Jake dies. Are you positive you want to do this? Tobias made the choice when he killed Caitlin. He can't, he, he can't survive. Mason, ready to trade? Here, T, hold Jesse for me. Daddy's got work to do. Where is he? Right behind me. Long time no see. I've missed you. Why don't we settle this? I understand this is, this has been hard for your group, but if you give Simon back, I only killed Jake. I want us to just move forward. I'll probably be taking every last gun of yours just in case, but... Did you really just do that? What? He was rambling on. Holy fuck. You really asked for it now. Scorch fucking earth, you pricks. Head over to Mason. I'll do what I can. Aim for Mason. That fuck face is going to pay. Aim straight for his balls. Fall back. Everyone head to the RV before they surround us. We need to head home. They still outnumber us. We need to finish this, Mason. No. We don't have enough ammo for this. To Not today. Tell me how this feels. I can't hear you, motherfucker. Come on, everybody. Let's go. We need to leave now. Tell Mason I said hello. Go on without me. You're probably going to die. You know that, right? Shut the fuck up, Daniel. Just go. Thank you for the help. Drop it now. You guys are gonna lose. One way or another. Says the one who's surrounded. Looks like the traitor failed to escape. It also looks like Simon's dead, so... I guess there's no point keeping you alive. Adios, motherfucker. Is everything okay, Dad? Yeah, everything is fine, June. I know this isn't true. What aren't you telling me? I want you to not worry about me, June. You have, you have a life to live. I want it better for you, but the world isn't the same anymore. You act like you're going to leave me soon. Dad? Honey, I'm going to leave you soon, okay? I'm getting old. I'm lucky I've made it this far. Mason's helped with that, but you're the main reason I'm still here. After losing Lily, your mother, everyone in our family, Troy, David, Danielle, I was lost for a while. I lost faith. But, but you, you kept me going, sweetie. Stop this, daddy. No. 
You need to listen. I found out that I have prostate cancer. I don't have much longer. I know I should have told you sooner, but I was afraid. You have lost so much, too. Jordan was good for you. I know his death still weighs heavy on you. I just want you to not push people out when I go. You can't die, Dad. We'll figure something out. Steven will. We, we don't have the supplies or equipment to do so. I haven't told anyone else, okay? With Tobias being such a huge threat right now, everyone needs to focus on that. I'm just glad that I won't die in some horrific way like some of us have. June, promise me that you will keep going once I pass. Please. It's great that we're back with minimal casualties, but we need to go and finish Tobias and get this over with. He's going to come here, and it's just going to be much, much worse, Mason. We're running out of ammo, Daniel. Nathan and I are going to go look for some more, but we don't have the numbers or the firepower to keep doing this. We all could use some rest, too. Mason, don't be foolish. This doesn't end until all of them are dead. supply room. Care to come? Yeah, actually. I could use a jog. I don't think we've done something like this in a while. Yeah. I forget how much fun these adventures can be. There's walkers up ahead. I have an idea. <laughs> Just need one, then it's smooth sailing. I miss this. I understand it's dangerous, but it gives me some excitement. I'll come out here when. gonna do this why don't you ease up a bit and have a drink too <laughs> oh look we have a guest do you need help with that <laughs> I got this <laughs> I said I had it under control now look what you did the booze spilled get a hold of yourself stop acting so stupid you're acting crazy Daniel me Crazy? Look at me. I am not crazy. What is going on with you? <laughs> I'm sick of this. Mason just doesn't understand that we need to finish this. Tobias is going to show up at the high school and kill more of us. I can't lose anybody else. I'm, I'm getting tired of having to bury my family. Hey, I get it, okay? But getting drunk won't fix this. I don't want to lose someone else again. I don't want to lose you. Look at me. You aren't going to lose me, Dan. We will finish this. So you're getting cold feet over Tobias, huh? What are you talking about? We didn't kill Tobias out there. We had enough bullets to kill him. Don't act like that was the reason why we left. I think you're getting scared of killing people. I get it, okay? It takes its toll. Nathan, we need to stop killing people. We aren't animals. <laughs> Don't start this shit. I'll think it over tonight. What our plan will be. Yeah, keep struggling with it. It ain't hard, man. The right choice is what keeps us alive. It's always the same with you. You go all big bad Mason for a bit, and then you take it all back. That's why Gage escaped. It's whenever you're put to the test. Stop acting like you know the way ahead. Like you know the rules. There are no rules, man. We're lost. Oh, no, man. I know exactly where I am. You don't know more shit than I do. I don't think you can keep them safe. You couldn't keep Richard safe. Or Thomas. Or Caitlin. John's gonna end up like his mother. Don't make
make me leave you out here. If you're gonna be with us, you gotta follow my lead and trust me. Mason, you can't just be the good guy and expect to live, okay? Not anymore. I'm not the good guy anymore. I'll do whatever it takes to keep John safe. You hear me? Come on. Let's go. Hey there. You okay? Can I get some water? I should introduce myself. I'm Jim. I wonder if you remember me from the other day. Do you? No. Well, <laughs> I can forgive that. It's kind of been a shitstorm around here. Some group much like yours attacked us. They'll get what's coming to them, much like your group did. Anyways, I was the guy who gave the rope to the guys who tied you up. I always keep some close. There's just all sorts of fun and interesting things you can do with rope. God, you're pretty. If I get you some water, which I'm not supposed to do, will you do something for me? Something you're not supposed to do? Will you? Thirsty you are. Quit it. Fine's gonna make it last longer. For the record, it's fine by me. Hey! What the fuck are you doing in here? Sir, I... Do you really think I need you to answer that? I can fucking see you're trying to rape this woman. You were trying to rape this woman, weren't you? That is some unacceptable behavior. Rape is a big fucking no-no here. I wouldn't want to be somewhere where it wasn't. Someone in charge who lets that shit fly. No, sir. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. You've really crossed the line here. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You know what? I do not accept your apology. Wes, get a... Anna. That is a beautiful name. Get Anna a new pair of pants. I'm sorry you had to see that. Also, I'm sorry about Robbie and your group. I spared your life to perhaps maybe you could join our ranks. I won't allow that until I can trust you, however. We were going to spare Mr. Lady Tickler, too, but his stash was just too much for me. Here, I'm going to give you this knife here. You can try to use it and take me out, but since I'm standing here with my men outside the door, it doesn't really seem too smart. You could use it to slit your wrist too, which would be a damn shame. I get it. You obviously aren't on the shiny side of the street right now. Or you could wait for Jimmy to reanimate and eat your fucking face off, which, once again, a real damn shame and kind of nuts. But hell, to each their own. Or you could use that blade, stop Rapey Jimmy from becoming dead alive, Rapey Jimmy. Save yourself join the cause I know what I do nevertheless I am sorry that you had to see that even though I know you've seen some real fucking crazy ass shit I just want you to understand we are not monsters funny seeing you guys out here who are you you guys seriously forgot about us? I'm Peter. You see, we used to be a part of a community not far from here. We were doing fine until Mason screwed it all up. Maybe you've heard of this place. It was called Brooks, remember? Tobias and the Peacekeepers took over. We tried to help. Well, look what your help did for us. Shepard had everything under control. We were making a deal. 
Now that place is destroyed, and most of us are dead. We had a larger group of survivors after Brooks fell, but these last few months have been hard on us. Debbie and I are all that's left. We can talk about this, okay? You can come live with us. That's the last thing we want. We need a van full of supplies and nothing else. We don't want to be with you or near you. We're going to take you back to that high school of yours and ransom you off to Mason. Debbie, take the girl inside. Look, we don't want to do this to you guys, but we've lost a lot back at Brooks. We can help you if you join us. Nobody has to get hurt. Trust me, Debbie. This is the only way I'm sorry. Not on my watch. Drop your gun. Look, I never met Mason formally, but he always seemed like a dick. The way he held himself around you guys. Did you ever look at your leader, Shepard? Don't disrespect his name. He was a lot of things, but a bad leader was not one of them. He was just a backstabber too. I don't know who you are, but drop your gun or she dies. Fuck you. We are starving and need food. You destroyed our home. You're monsters. Don't blame what happened there on me. I tried to stop a group from terrorizing you guys, and now my family is paying the price. Lower the gun, hand over Chris, and then we can talk. You just think you can talk your way out of this? No. We had everything under control at Brooks. Then you had to have your little call to arms and try to rescue us. Who's gonna rescue you now, Mason? I've lost everything because of you. And I will not stop until you're dead for your actions. Even if that means- What the fuck did you just do, Nathan? Peter, please don't leave me. You're welcome, Mason. Our car is this way. Give me your crossbow right now. <laughs> do you really want to do this? I saved your life back there. He didn't have to die. No, Mason, that man had to die. I thought we were done with this bullshit, Nathan. If we keep killing, we are no better than those peacekeepers. Yeah, that may be true, but there is no right or wrong, Mason. It's either us or them. I'll choose us every fucking time without a doubt. Give me your weapon. Now. Hope this makes you feel better. And it would be wise to keep me with you. Because a few days from now, hell, even tonight, you're gonna need me to help defend against Tobias. We're gonna survive. I'll do what I have to do. But I can't trust you anymore, Nathan. What the hell did they do to you when they imprisoned you? You wouldn't understand, Mason. One thing I know is that Tobias is serious about finishing this between you and him. If you don't make the right choices, we're going to lose everything. Hey, let us in. Nathan sent us. Troy? Jessica? <laughs> it's been a while. A year and a half, in fact. Come on. Open these gates. We thought we lost you, Troy. Where have you been? All over the place. We got stuck in Tobias' group a month or so ago. Kyle was with us too, but he disappeared when we escaped. At least we have you back, son. We're all that's left of our family now. Well, a few months ago, I didn't even think I had a family left. I missed you so much. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna separate us again. To know. Know what? Troy, I'm sick. I don't know how much time I have left, but it isn't long. Maybe a few weeks to a month. What? He should have attacked by now. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this, Mason. Funny running into you again. Yeah. Last time we met, we weren't really on the same team. You should have come with us, in hindsight. Yeah, well, you didn't seem like the people we wanted to be with at the time. It's okay. Daniel gives off that douchebag persona at times. Hey, there's no need for that, Mr. Clean. 
My point proven. Are you excited for your big day this week? Yeah, I mean, it's weird, you know. Stacy and I have been together for two years. We have a kid, and I never thought of marrying her. Well, the world did end, along with many traditions, Chris. Good news is that you don't have to spend a penny on this wedding. The whole thing is free of charge at my humble abode. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. Listen, I know you and Nate are on rough water with each other. I understand where he's coming from, but you're right. From what you told me, we do need to stop killing. You lose pieces of yourself every time you justify these actions. I... I've had to kill a few people, and I feel like it has changed me. Chris, I probably killed a couple dozen people by now. Under the old rules, you'd be forced to arrest me. <laughs> You've got a point. Technically, you are a serial killer. <laughs> See, even this. Joking about it. We're too used to this lifestyle. It needs to stop. I worry about John, what he will become. Emily was worried that he'd turn into some monster in this world. I told her I wouldn't let that happen. I think I've failed him as a father. Look, Mason, you have not failed him. As long as we keep our sons alive, we have succeeded. I'll die to keep him safe, even if he isn't mine. I'm sorry that Brutus did that to you guys. We should have stayed back. No, Mason, don't be sorry. If you stayed, we probably would have all died. Stacy used to have nightmares over it what Brutus did to her. She won't even tell me everything that happened, but it's not your fault, though. Besides, that son of a bitch is dead, just like Tobias will be soon. You're right. Once I kill Tobias, I'm done killing anyone else, hopefully for a very long time. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Sorry we haven't talked much these last few days. How's your eye? It's healing a little better. I feel like people are scared of me now, though. What? No. No one is scared of you, John. They're just worried about you. We're all surprised you survived. That's because of you, Dad. Hey, Jonathan, are you almost ready? I'm good to go. Let's make this quick as possible, though. As much as we need food, I do want to see Stacy and Chris's ceremony. Same here, actually. It's been a while since I've been to a wedding. We are here today to join Chris and Stacy in a life of mutual commitment. It is fitting and appropriate that you, the friends and family of Chris and Stacy, be here to witness and participate in their union. For the ideals, the understanding, and the mutual respect which they bring to their life together had their roots in the love and friendship and guidance you have given them. The union of two people makes us aware of the changes brought by time. But the new relationship will continue to draw much of its beauty and meaning from the intimate associations from their past. Chris, do you take Stacy to be your lawfully wedded wife, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Stacy, choose Chris to be your partner in life, to support and respect him in his successes and as well as his failures, to care for him in sickness and in health, to nurture him and to grow with him through the seasons of your life together? I do. And now, by the power invested in me, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Christopher, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chris- <laughs> Well, well, well. Look at this. Are you guys throwing a wedding? Boy, do I love weddings. And you fuckers didn't even invite me. Come on. I ever do you, except 
crash in a few of your friends' heads. Unfortunately, we aren't here for the after party. Face it, open that fucking gate if you know it's good for you. Couldn't stick with us. Just had to go and recruit the traitors. We've got lots to talk about. This all could have been avoided, Mason. You just had to provide for me. Now you're gonna get everyone you gave a fuck about killed. <laughs> I've been pretty good to you. I brought back your son, and I didn't even harm him. I killed that sack of shit who tried to get me to kill you. Maybe I should have listened to him. Would have saved me some men. You guys are animals. I'm a reasonable man, Mason. But after everything you've done, I don't see there any other way to go about this. This is just going to make you sad, Mason. Broken. You're going to wish you were dead. I like having fun. I do. But maybe you think the guy who beat the fuck out of your friends wasn't me. Like that was some sort of a fucking put on. Like I'm not the guy with the mace. I just babysit your kid here and there. Oh, fuck. Fucking fuck. Maybe this is all fucking on me. Well, I gotta make it right. I guess I gotta start all over again. Hold this revolver for me. You have a choice. Kill me, or watch your friends die. Holy fuck! <laughs> this one's missing an eye! Whoever shot him is getting some fucking spaghetti tonight. Shit. So, I will start right here and go down the line for you, Mason. I just want to make it clear that at any point, you can stop this with that gun. Of course you all die, but it's... <laughs> it is your choice. Hey, fucking face towards me and point that fucker right at my head. This is gonna be fucking awesome. We're gonna have a little bash for the past. Mason, whatever you feel like it. You fucking chose this. I don't know what more I could have done to warn you. This is not a warning though. This is punishment. Holy shit! You totally would pull that trigger. Did you? Really think I would give you a fucking loaded weapon to point at my head? Stop this. I don't want to hear a fucking word out of that mouth of yours, Mason. I call the shots right now. Oh, shit. Looks like all the ruckus has brought some dead ones to your gate. We'll go take care of them. <laughs> Alright, boys, let's make this quick. Mason's waiting on us. Are you shitting me? Mason, open that fucking gate now. I turned my back on you for one second. You better leave before this gets ugly for both of us, Tobias. <laughs> you see, I get it. You don't like me. You gotta like Shelby and Jonathan. Yep, I got them right here. Live and well. Now, I found them scavenging and Figured this had to get you back in line real quick. So I brought them so I don't have to kill all of you. And not killing all you could get complicated. See, I know there's still a lot of firepower in there, Mason. So I'm gonna make this simple. I want all of the guns you managed to scrape up. Yep. I want every last grain of lemonade left. I want one person of your own choosing for Jesse. Nathan! Oh, 
I gotta get me my Nathan back. I see you. And the weightlifting set. I want it all, and I want it now, or both of them die. And then all of you, probably. And then I still get the weights. Come on, Mason. It's basic arithmetic. Two dead friends or one. You know what? You fucking suck ass, Mason. You really do. I don't want to have to kill them, but that's exactly what you're gonna make me do. I even have your buddy Jake here too. He ain't coming back, but maybe you could put him on the wall somewhere. Hell, I even found your fucking tank out there. I'll use it to destroy this place. Don't, don't kill him. We can make a deal. I don't think so, Mason. Give them back and don't kill any of us. I'll go with you and someone else can lead these people. You want me. Don't bring the rest of them into this. The only thing I want is you dead, Mason. Now I'm trying to reason with you. Give me one of them for these two. And then you get to live too. I can't do that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I will do this, Mason. I'll do it right in front of you, in front of his family. Yeah, he told me about them. Wait, we could work together. We don't have to be enemies. We let go of all of this, and nobody dies. Everyone's alive right now. Everyone's made it this far. We could trade with each other and provide for each other. This world has made us into monsters. We've all done the worst kind of things just to stay alive. But we could still come back. We get to come back. Think of all the possibilities we can do together. The real threat is the dead. Isn't that what we're all trying to do? Survive. We can't do that without other people. I know. We all can change. Liar. Out of here now. The fences are down. We can't leave without the others. If we stay, we'll all die. Come on. <laughs> you guys good? Yeah. Someone left in the band of the palace. Just hold him off and I'll find us a way out. <laughs> Nathan, Sarah, and Jackson went to lay cover fire. We aren't leaving without my sister. Daniel, we have to. We'll meet her once this is over. Come with me. Wait, where's Stacy? Chris, that's the least of our words right now. No, I'm staying until I find her. Fuck you. This was all you. We gotta leave. I understand you just lost someone, but it's over. Worry about Troy and where he is. You've been the biggest pain in the fucking ass. Only one of us is leaving today, Mason. And it sure as hell ain't gonna be you. I'm gonna cave in that head of yours, and then we'll see who's changed. Trevor, 
You son of a bitch. After everything I've done for you. Tobias is no longer in charge of the peacekeepers. We're done here. We caused enough damage. They'll have to leave this place. We need to leave before the dead come. You heard him. Tobias isn't our leader anymore. Pack up everything and let's go. Where's John? I don't know. Mason. <laughs> Dad, John, we've got to go. It's over. Just fucking kill me already. No, that's too easy. You're going to pay for what you've done. <laughs> Troy, face it, we're lost. We have no idea who anybody is. Jessica, I have to find my sister. My father might be dead, and we might have lost all the others, but they're still out there. We all can find each other. We just have to keep looking. Shit. How the hell did they follow us? Well, hello there. Looks like you guys needed some help. John, slow down. I need to rest. I, I, I can't keep going. Fine. Let's sit in this house up here, I guess. us over again. You did this to us. We lost our home because of you. If you didn't just kill Tobias when you had the chance, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. failed us at the high school. I wouldn't say that. You did what you could and we all knew what was at stake. I should have killed Tobias when I had the chance. Jonathan may still be here. We probably would still be at the high school. We've been in that place for nearly a year. We have lost so many people during that time and accomplished so much. I forgot how dangerous others truly could be. Before my group found you, we met many groups. Some died along the way while others we had to leave were exile. Your group was the first time that I truly felt we could survive with other people. You accomplished that. Yeah, we lost some people and our home, but that doesn't mean it's all over. I know it isn't over yet. Surely some of the others made it out alive. We just have to find them, somehow. Once we do, we'll find somewhere and start over. It's not- Oh dearie me! You screwed up, asshole! You hear me? You screwed up. I've searched far and wide for you, Mason. And that's thanks to your friend here. It wasn't too hard to find you after that. I told you, Mason. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Because now I'm out of the prison and <laughs> I've found some very overly eager Russians who want your head on the platter. Today's the day of reckoning. Shit. I was thinking of turning in for the night on New Year's Eve. We got a two for one as well. That bitch backstabbed us a while back, too. <laughs> You see, we showed up to the high school, ready to kill you all. Unfortunately, we were a day or two late. Because of all the shit that must have happened in the meantime, the place was swarming with the dead. We lost several of our own trying to get out of there. 
but here we are and we are here to cash our paycheck look it was just me I killed your people kill me and let them go you see now that's very true we, we could settle this we are reasonable men first we'll have the girl then the boy and then I'm gonna shoot you and then we'll be square <laughs> Let him go! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so much worse now. Come on, what are you gonna do now, sport? <laughs> <laughs> Last night, the Russian knew you. What was that about? My group ran into his group. We stayed with them until they killed a family in cold blood. My group knew it wasn't right, and we took everything we could and left. What about you? I had a wife. She survived with us for a long time. When we first found the high school. Gage was killing off some of the girls, doing all sorts of terrible things to them. He distracted us one time by um, letting the undead into the high school. My wife, she, uh, she died in the process. She was pregnant at the time. I lost myself and I uh, left that day, right afterwards. I was broken. I was mad at the world. I sat in a bar and I drank when these guys showed up. I killed them in a fit of rage and all but one of them. And that one was the Russian with the eye patch. Cuffed him to a pole and left him to die. I honestly forgot about that. We can't leave others alive. If there's any chance of them coming back like this and harming us, then we need to kill them. You're gonna be okay, Mason. What happened last night? Anyone would have done that for their kid. No. No. Not anybody. The weak ones would have let it happen and accepted their fate. No matter what, it's either us or them. That's how we move on and survive. 